This is Woodman here. Wanted to talk to you about the Merkaba. Um, it's a term that comes up quite often. The Merkaba is derived from ancient Jewish mysticism, particularly from the Kabbalistic tradition. The word Merkaba or Merkaba is Hebrew for chariot, and it refers to the divine chariot seen by the prophet Ezekiel and his visions described in the book of Ezekiel. This chariot is drawn by four living creatures, each with four faces, man, lion, ox, and eagle, and wheels within wheels that move in all directions. Now, when we say this, we're not talking about the wheels that were angels, right? Because there's some angels that are described as like these, these, these circular wheels that have eyes and then wings coming out of them, which are not like the angels that you and I are used to seeing, which are more humanistic. But here in Judaism, um, Merkaba is about the study of this divine chariot of God. It's an uh, early form of uh, visions of the heavenly realms and the contemplation of God's full glory. And Merkaba is seen as a vehicle for spiritual ascension and enlightenment, enabling the mystic to travel through different levels of heaven. Keep in mind that you know we have traveled between dimensions and planes, particularly between the ethers, the astral plane, and so forth. And so the Merkaba might be seen as a vehicle for this. Um, another way to think of the Merkaba is as a light body. In modern metaphysical and New Age thought, the Merkaba is often described as a light body or an energy field which surrounds the human body. It's believed to be a vehicle for ascension and spiritual transformation, allowing individuals to access higher realms of consciousness and to travel to the ethers, the astral plane, as well as the spirit world. So how do we use Merkaba for this travel that is spoken about? Well, to use Merkaba for spiritual travel, uh, practitioners often have to engage in meditation um, when, and deep visualization techniques that will uh, allow uh, there, there to be this, this intention and this focus on this method of travel. It generally involves, uh, firstly, the activation. Uh, through meditation, the individual visualizes the Merkaba as two interlocking uh, tetrahedrons, one pointing upwards representing a masculine energy and the other pointing downwards representing feminine energy. Uh, then we have the process of rotation. Uh, these uh, tetrahedrons are imagined to rotate in opposite directions, creating a spinning field of light around the body. Um, then there is ascension. With ascension now, we have the spinning Merkaba are believed to uh, raise the individual's vibrational frequency, enabling travel to higher dimensions and accessing, of course, what we would know as spiritual knowledge. So how does that necessarily relate to maybe tarot, right? Because tarot is another form of divination that is uh, done in spirituality. So within tarot, uh, we have a card called the Chariot card, right? Which I believe is, is Cancer. Um, and the Chariot card in tarot symbolizes triumph, willpower, and control. Drawing the Chariot card uh, can be interpreted as a sign of reaching a state of Merkaba because this represents a successful journey towards spiritual enlightenment and mastery over one's life. It signifies the union of opposites and the balancing of energies akin to interlocking tetrahedrons of the Merkaba. So let's talk about these tetrahedrons. So as mentioned um, several times throughout this video, we've talked about there being two tetrahedrons that are intersecting and that are spinning and revolving. So mathematically, the Merkaba is depicted as a star tetrahedron, which consists of two interlocking tetrahedrons. One tetrahedron points upwards, symbolizing the flow of energy from the earth to the sky, which is the masculine energy, and the other points downwards, symbolizing the flow of energy from the sky to the earth, which is the feminine energy. This geometric shape ultimately represents the balance and unity of polarities. And if you remember, we talk about the polarities and about the feminine aspect, that masculine and feminine aspects when we talk about the Kabbalion and certain principles within the Kabbalion, right? So light seeking and deep healing. The Merkaba is associated with light and healing. It is believed that by activating the Merkaba, one can connect with higher states of consciousness and then receive 
guidance from the divine as well as experience deep healing the light body facilitates the release of negative energies and promotes spiritual growth and transformation um, which would then allow one to um, be able to access higher states of consciousness so how does that factor into achieving one's life purpose right because life purpose is important every incarnation comes to this planet with a life purpose whether people achieve it or not depends on how tapped in they are whether or not they're able to break free from the matrix and the illusions and realize what they're here to do so the Merkaba will help people align with their life purpose you're accessing higher realms and receiving spiritual insights so one can gain clarity about one's path and mission in life the Merkaba acts as a tool for manifesting one's highest potential and helps to achieve fulfill the soul's purpose in this incarnation which is a good thing because then you don't have to keep coming back and repeating the process to fulfill that purpose so let's talk about karma and dharma the concepts of karma the law of cause and effect and dharma one's duty or life purpose are integral to understanding how the merkaba influences one life journey um, by activating the merkaba and connecting with higher consciousness individuals can gain insights into their past actions which are manifested in the karma and align with their true purpose which is manifested in the dharma this alignment helps to resolve karmic debts right because that's what we're trying to do we're trying to work off karmic debts and live in accordance with divine will that means we get closer to the highest version of ourselves the divine version of ourselves so the merkaba mystics now they focused historically on their attention to the startling vision that opens the book of ezekiel in which the exiled and shackled prophet sees a manifestation from the heavens an astonishing tableau uh, ringed with fire of four winged creatures like burning coals of fire faces surrounding a heavenly chariot obviously ezekiel's vision itself is evidence that there was some mystical strain in the prophetic era long before the period of the merkava mystics the idea of the students of the chariot was to recreate Ezekiel's experience and to ascend in the chariot to explore the heavens or the chambers of which heaven was supposed to consist. The latter was the chief province of the uh, Haikhalat mystics who in works like Haikhalat Rabati, the teaching of the chambers, expounded on the journey through these heavenly precincts these mystical writings are profoundly visionary in nature with clear examples of the scholar Moshe Idel's intensive mode a type of mysticism aimed at uh, ecstatic experience a search for the formula that would allow practitioners to make the same journey the prophets had made jumping off from Ezekiel's vision or passages in the Shir Ha Shirim which is the Song of Songs they paint a vivid and imaginative picture of God's heavenly domain. In one of these works, uh, Shira Koma, which is the measurement of the height, the author actually describes the creator in very anthropomorphic uh, or humanistic terms, which is uh, that he's uh, viewed as a human-like creature of such gigantic dimensions so as to occupy the whole cosmos. His neck is something like 130.8 million miles long. His fingers are each uh, 150.3 million miles in length, so on and so forth. So obviously, uh, when you're trying to imagine uh, a being of such immense power and strength, uh, I guess size was one of the things that might first come to mind if you're going to uh, humanize God, which obviously we really can't do because God is far more infinite than anything that could be contained in a human vessel. The Merkaba is a powerful symbol and tool in both ancient Jewish mysticism as well as modern spiritual practices. It represents a vehicle for spiritual ascension, balancing energies, and achieving enlightenment. Through meditation and visualization, the Merkaba can be activated to facilitate travel to higher realms, deep healing, and alignment with one's life's purpose. By understanding and utilizing the Merkaba, individuals can transcend their limitations and fulfill their highest potential. And who wouldn't want to do that? I hope you've enjoyed this message. If you're new here, uh, welcome aboard. This is a safe space. If you're returning, I appreciate your support as always. And I love you. I love you. I love you. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Woodman signing off. Take care. Enjoy your 4th of July. Bye.